Jared. This is a Max Ace Covenant. I like this knife. This thing is freaking sick. And I'll get into why I think that is here in a minute, right? This is the trick that I'm working on. Pinky. Ah, pinky. It's the hardest one. Ring finger, middle finger, index. I can do all of them, except for the damn pinky. 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 Ring. Middle. Index. I like this knife. This thing, it's, it's fun to play with. This knife is funner to just straight up play with, right? To, to learn things on. Because I'm not the best flipper, right? And it was pointed out recently in a comment. And I'm sorry, I can't honestly remember who pointed it out. And they're completely correct. I need to be better than I am. If I'm going to continue posting Valley Song videos and actually trying to do reviews on these things, I really do need to be better than I am. I'm never going to be extremely skilled just because I'm not... I've never been the most skilled with my hands. I'm not a musician. I can't, you know, I'm not very, you know, dexterous, you know, that kind of thing. I've got more of a mechanical mindset, you know, which I think does actually aid into flipping. I'll, I'll do a video on that if anybody's actually curious, a little bit of philosophy, but... This knife is fun to fidget with, and I think the, the real reason is, is because design, right? You can see it in the design of this knife. Most knives that are coming out now, not most of them, but a lot of them, a lot of them that are considered, you know, the, some of the best flippers on the market, the world's best flippers, this is a BRS replicant, and this knife is, it's all balanced way out, right? All of the weight is at the end of the blade and it's at the end of the handles and they, it, there's this really big taper and so there's so much material. It's got that big block spacer in there even though it's made out of titanium. And so when this thing moves, it actually feels like I'm swinging it. It feels, I can, it feels like I'm swinging it. You know, it feels like the handles are actually swinging around in, in a circular motion, right? Which I can imagine is probably a very good thing for certain, you know, depending on your style of flipping. But the, it does, there's something more about this, this smoothed out balance, right? Because there's basically no taper to these handles. There is, but it's very, very light, right? And so there's not a whole lot of weight in the back end of this knife, especially with the titanium spacers in there, you know, the weight and the, the, the latch and everything adds a little bit of weight, but not a whole lot. And then there's a tapering blade, you know, there's almost no material coming out to the end of this blade. And so it doesn't feel like it's swinging. It feels more like it's sliding. It feels like it's kind of gliding into place other or opposed from swinging. This knife feels more automatic. I have to do less motion. There's there's less wrist motion. There's less actual like flipping in the covenant, right? Which honestly, I truly enjoy. I think it's a whole lot of fun. But if somebody were to say it's not nearly as much fun directly because of that, I would, I could see that, you know what I mean? If your opinion is that you really like that swing and the glide that actually, you know, comes from something like the Replicant or something even, you know, this is a Max Ace Banshee that was just recently released. And this thing is so butt heavy. It's got so much weight to the back end of this knife. I'll do a review on this thing at a later point. But look at that. Balance point so far back that this thing still has that gliding feeling. It has that swinging feeling. You can definitely tell that it's more of an ass heavy knife but it just doesn't feel like the Covenant, right? The Covenant has its its own very neutrally balanced feel, right? A lot of knives are neutrally balanced, but they still have the weight all at the ends, and, you know, the balance can vary, you know, even depending on the materials, you know what I mean? You can balance a knife, you know, this is a BRS Bare Bones right here. This is an excellent example. It's all stainless steel, but it's still balanced, you know, right there. It's got a, it's got a really good balance point. It's generally pretty neutral. It's a little bit ass heavy, pretty ass heavy actually on the 2.0 series here. But I mean, it's not crazily, right? And so the material choices and the design choices have led to the feeling, you know what I mean? What it actually feels like moving through the air. And this thing feels more automatic. It feels like I'm doing less than I actually am. Even though, you know, I know that I'm not, because it's not, 
the lightest knife out there. You know, it's definitely a little bit of weight behind it, but it just makes it so much fun for me to do new things. Things that I'm not comfortable with well, I can't really say that because that's kind of the whole point of a ballet song is, you know, scare yourself a little bit. It's, you know, it's one of the reasons that it's fun. And so, I mean, you know, being able to just have it go automatically to know where I'm flipping it. Because a, a lot of the times people who are a shitload better than me, they'll be, you know, something with like an aerial. And you'll hear people mention, that's not what I want to do, but you'll hear people mention that an aerial is harder you know it, you have to know exactly where the knife is going to be going right you actually have to know where it's going to be going when you give it whatever energy you're doing what you know you have to know where it's going to wind up right so you can actually catch the thing and i think that comes really heavily into the just the the weight and the balance you know because this knife is going to behave differently flipping through the air than something like the replicant you know what i mean especially something like an aerial you know I, there, half aerial. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. So, I mean, I just really do like the feeling of this knife, but I don't honestly think, I don't know. I'm not the best flipper. I'm not excellent at this. And there are some people who are very good at this who say this is an excellent flipper. But really, I think where this thing for me excels is kind of at that intermediate level. You mean it doesn't it doesn't seem like it would be the the absolute end all be all for somebody who is just an absolutely amazing flipper, but somebody, you know, better a little bit better than me or better than me, you know, little my level or you know something like that is just going to absolutely love this knife because it feels so automatic. There's just so little actually put into the flipping of it. And it's got a decent amount of weight, but it's fast. It really does move around fast. I've got basically no energy actually flipping this thing or doing a twirl on this thing. There's, It's very easy. It's very light. You know, when I twirl something like this bare bones here, which is almost the same weight, actually. There isn't a whole lot of discrepancy between the two. But because of the way that this thing is weighted, it's more of a finger workout. It's not necessarily harder, but it's more of a finger workout. I can feel the muscles in my hands. This takes more muscle to do than it does with some, with this covenant right here, right? Actually doing a twirl with this covenant, so I throw it on the ground, actually twirling this thing just it just moves around it reminds me honestly it's kind of reminiscent of like like a 51 in the amount of energy that it takes it feels completely differently than the flip 51 i'm not you know but just the amount of energy because it's very light and it's on you know it's on ball bearings and the handles are just very neutrally weighted and so there isn't a whole lot of energy required to actually get this thing to move around Sounds good. A little bit of a sneak preview. Check out the, it's an EOS, All right? Just pick this one up. Just. That is, the EOS Serpent is a ridiculous sounding ballet song. It's kind of reminiscent. It's got that, that low end, you know, kind of titanium on, you know, just titanium thud. Sounds really good. All right, that's it. Let me get down onto the table. Talk about this thing a little bit more. I really like this blade shape. It's, it's a working blade shape, you know, it's utilitarian. It's got a decent grind on it. It is relatively thick and you know what I mean? Being thin just in the, the fact, the aspect that it's a ballet song, you are kind of limited to, you know, the, the amount of grind that you can have, the actual bevel, right? And so it's not the sliciest grind out there, but that's a good working shape. You know what I mean? That's a good shape for a, a, a working shape for a blade. And so I really like just the, the EDC aspect of this, the work aspect of this knife. It, it's definitely, it's got that going for it, but I want to say this about Max Ace Knives. 
Look at this handle, right? There's carbon fiber inlays and it's almost straight, but there's just this little tiny, tiny bit of taper to the, these handles. And you know, it's, there's a lot of design here, right? There's a lot of creativity and thought process that go, goes into this handle. And then I'm gonna bring up the same, you know, Max Ace Pelican, right? Same thing. Look at this handle, the amount of thought and just, just, you know, engineering and art artistry that went into the actual overall design of this knife, right? Same thing with this right here. Another Max Ace. Look at these handles. It's actually reminiscent, kind of reminiscent to the Pelican here. It's like maybe the, you know, cheaper version of it here. And this is an excellent knife, but it's it's still crazy. And there's, there's design aspects that, that aren't shared between the two. This has got a flat back and this is tapered on both sides. You can see that there. But what I want to say, Look at the blade shapes. What's up with this? Max, <laughs> like a Midnight Cat is a badass knife designer who has made some some very, very you know, innovative ballet songs that have come out onto the market. I don't want to sound like I'm talking, talking crap, but I mean, there's almost no variance between all of these blades. And I don't know why that is. Maybe because he's determined that this is the optimal shape for his style of flipping ballet song because they all kind of do feel the same. You know, there's those similarities to the way that they flip they don't feel the same, but there's similarities to there. You can definitely tell that it's kind of the same designer that's m made most of these knives. This knife here is a very interesting design. Give me one second. Let me... Yeah, and it's very minimalistic. It's, it's a, I really do appreciate just the way that this thing is built because it's a single standoff. You can see there's a pin running through it there and it's just one single barrel spacer. It is actually a barrel spacer. Those aren't screws that are going into the actual backspacer itself. It is like a pivot, you know what I mean? It's the same thing as like a pivot running through that actual scale. And then there's a little hidden pin. You can't actually see it, but right around here, there is a little hidden pin going through that backspacer to actually give it two positive points of contact. So this backspacer can't actually move. You know, it's not mobile because it is held in place in two different points, but you've got that little, you've only got one actual fastener. And so it adds an interesting aesthetic to the handles of this, this knife, as well as just a strength in overall construction because it isn't actually screwed into that backspacer and you are running on that kind of barrel, that barrel, you know, male and female pivot system. And so that is actually giving, that's gonna add an extra amount of just rigidity and robustness to the design, but it leaves almost no weight because you can see here that it's almost channeled out. A lot of ballet songs, I mean, most, Bally songs nowadays have some of this little ramp right here coming up, right? And even their channel style, this the pelican here, still got that little bar, that little shelf right there, right? And so there's a lot of weight coming into the back of this knife. That's not the case with this. It's very thin. There's almost no titanium there. It's just enough to actually hold the handles together. And with that, it does come with brass back spacers. You can actually change this out to, br to a brass spacer if you'd like to add a little bit more weight. But I mean, it's still just a, a, a smaller amount of more weight. It's definitely gonna be noticeable seeing as how it's in a ballet song, but it's, it is just a tiny, tiny bit more weight. And so the handle on this, there is, it's very neutral. You know, there's, there's almost, the weight is spread out. There's almost no heavy point on the at overall actual handle design on both sides of it here. Cause this spring latch is very minimalistic. I do like the fact that it's got washers right there. It's got washers in the spring latch, which is actually kind of ridiculous. Cause it's still making contact with the inside of the handle there. You can see it still makes contact and it's scratching it up. But I mean, it's a neat little endeavor that they actually put them in there. And look, I really appreciate appreciate the fact that it has those little uh, balls, right? There's little detent balls. It's like, what would be a detent ball if it was on the frame of a, you know, frame lock, something like that. And that is actually what works as your latch gate. And so again, that's very minimalistic in weight. There isn't an extra bar. There isn't an extra piece. It's just these two little, probably ceramic pieces pressed into the titanium that actually works as your latch gate. This backstop works in the opposite direction. And so that again is very minimalistic. You know, you can see the, the pin and everything in there. It's a titanium latch with a very small, very, very small little tiny piece of steel on there, which I love the way that this thing latches just it's very reminiscent to like the Benchmade 87, how it just latches in there. And it's, it is a negative and a positive for me because I can't slide it off. You know, I can't actually just flick it down with my pinky. You know, I'm pushing hard there. I'm, I'm really trying to get that thing off. And I mean, that 
it came off because I squeezed the handles. You know what I mean? And, and I can't push it off. I can't just grab it and pull it off. Like, it, it just doesn't work. There's, it's really strong, which is a good thing because it adds that extra little bit of security. But at the same time, you absolutely have to do use the spring latch portion of this. And so I don't like things that limit me to only one way of operation, but this is an excellent way of executing that one way of operation. You know what I mean? If, if you are going to do it, this is extremely secure and it's got a lot of longevity because there's a decent amount of play here. You can see the tension there, that, that bar, the end of that latch is coming down to about this section here on the handle. And so you've got a lot of life and a lot of longevity in the strength of that overall latch. So it'll probably be able to take a beating on these Zen pins here and just really not go anywhere. And again, Look at the Zen pins on this thing. Come on, come into focus, come into focus for me. Yeah, I really, the Zen pins are pretty big. They're decently robust, and I think it's a collar. You can see that it just does seem like a collar, again, wrapped around a pivot. I actually haven't disassembled this thing fully yet. This one came with a live blade on it. My other two Max Ace haven't actually come with a live blade on it, which is interesting because they're imported from China, right? And they import them with a trainer blade generally just because it's, 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 well, it's illegal to import live blade ballet songs from China, right, into this country, which there's just so many stupid laws on importation of ballet songs into this country. And that's one of them, right? And so this knife is kind of proving the, the ballet song, the high quality, nice, flipping, very robust, well-built, well-designed original designed ballet songs that are actually coming out of China because there's been a couple knife companies that have been doing this for a long time. In the ballet song community, this is like a brand new thing to a lot of people. They're like, whoa, it's from China and it's actually good. Holy crap, blah, 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 you know? But in the knife community, that's been happening for a while. Come on. Why is it, what the hell is worth my focus? But Riot, um, you know, Riate, We Knives, there's been a lot of companies recently that have been coming out with folding knives, folding knives and automatics, things like that, that are excellent, that are very well executed original designs, and they're manufactured out of China. And this is just the Bally Song version of that. It's been happening for a while now, and that, that, kind of trend has just, you know, eked its way into the ballet song industry. And, you know, Max Ace was one of the first ones to capitalize on that. They're not the only ones. There's a couple of them. There's a few more that are coming out that are just really good, well thought out designs. But I think this one here, this Covenant, was the one that really just took first showing in the United States. I mean, this was the one that really set everybody off. Everybody wanted it. When they came out with the first one, you couldn't find it. People were paying like $600 for these things. This is the V2. It's the second version here. And I mean, again, these things are a little bit hard to find and they're going for a higher price on that secondary market. And so there is a desirability for these nice people covet the covenant, which I think is funny. And the covenant is an interesting name. I want to touch on that for just a second. Covenant is an interesting name because it's like a contract, right? That's an agreement or like a contract between two parties, a covenant. So what does that have to do with a ballet song? Besides the fact that it's got two handles, right? It's two handles marriaging together to make one like, aha. I don't know if that actually has anything to do, but I like this thing. I like the Max Ace Covenant. It's definitely, you know, good stuff coming in from China, and it's just dope. If you can get your hands on one, I would suggest it. They're a little bit hard to find. The latch is crap. What's up with this latch? Why do people do that? Every other spring latch, every spring latch on the planet, I don't even have one on me right now, right? It's the closest thing I got to this Benchmade pen, but there's that little bit of a lump, right? That little bit of a slump that eases itself over material. You can actually ease itself. So many of these mill titanium clips have this little wall right there, right? It's just like a 90 degree wall that's working. Like you can't slide that thing in and out of your pocket. You actually got to lift it up to put it in your pocket. It's some ridiculousness. I just... Yeah, whatever. But I'm going to stop rambling about this thing. I'll probably do another video on it. I'm thinking about starting to do re-reviews just because there's things that I think of at you know, a later point with a lot of knives that I would like to get on video. So I may start doing re-reviews on videos. And if I do, this one is definitely probably is probably going to come up in another video. If there's anything you'd like to see on this one, actually any of these knives, Banshee, Banshee here, bare bones. If you've got a request for a specific knife, something you know disassembled, whatever it is you'd like to see me take it apart uh do a little bit of a tutorial on how to fix something if you've got any questions put them down in the comments let me know 
That's it. Max Ace Covenant. I got three of them now. Yeah. That's it. Y'all have a good one.